knee osteotomy, essentially, you are trying to do correction of a malalignment. A little bit, it depends on the cause for the malalignment. There are uh, individuals who are adolescents who have made congenital deformities like tibia vara, where the deformity is in the body of the tibia and the osteotomy is performed clearly at the level of the deformity. There are dysplasias uh, for genu valgus or knock knee, which typically are insufficiency of the lateral femoral condyle. And those are osteotomies performed on the distal femur so that the joint line becomes level to the ground or parallel. But most osteotomies are done either because of uh, loss of articular cartilage or perhaps done to augment stability operations. Today, the most common osteotomy that's performed is an opening wedge. And the opening wedge is technically easy to do as long as you don't break your hinge. Uh, it uh, gives you great capability to do biplanar corrections because you can manipulate the flexion and extension of the uh, distal limb segment and affect your tibial slope. What we don't know is, does it really make the um, survivorship of the cartilage grafts better? And that's gonna require more time and research. So we th logically think it does. If I take mechanical loads off the compartment, my cartilage graft will do better. But how much do I have to take off? How much is the right load for the cartilage to see? Further research needs to answer those questions for us.